I remember the weirdest thing for me in chemistry was this whole thing about a mole. Like, I actually did not get that. It took me a long time to understand what a mole is, and they were talking about, well, on the periodic table, the molecular weights are always in grams per mole, everything about a mole. And it was confusing to me, right? <clears throat> I mean, for instance, if you have a mole of one thing, you have a mole of another, it's, right, I didn't understand it. And actually, the way to look at a mole is simply consider it like a dozen. It's just a set amount. So if you had a dozen, whatever, airplanes and a dozen Tic Tacs, which do you have more of? It's totally a tie. And that has nothing to do with weight or anything. Of course, if you said, what weighs more, a mole of airplanes or a mole of Tic Tacs, that's a whole other debate. But a dozen is a set amount, right? And so is a mole. Of course, you know, a dozen is just simply 12. A mole is a pretty trippy number. It's like this ginormous number that some guy, actually, I know his name. I'll tell you in a second. He invented. It's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And I think the reason they didn't do a dozen <coughs> is because obviously molecules are pretty small, as far as I heard, and atoms are pretty small. So typically, if you have a pinch of them, it's a pretty big number. And so they're going to stick with this as a, as a um, kind of a big lump. And the guy that invented it is, you know, it's Avogadro. So, you know, everyone calls him Avocado and all that. But Avogadro's, Avogadro's number is this up here. And the reason that comes into play in chemistry so often is that, again, like I said, when they give you a molecular weight of something, so they'll have like, oh, whatever, you know, you'll have nitrogen. And you'll have the number up here, <coughs> some, you know, number of protons, the atomic number. And then they'll give you some mass number down here. And by the way, what's also annoying is that can be flipped depending on the periodic table. But the mass number is always a number of grams per this number, per mole, right? So it'd be kind of like if we just gave weights in uh, normal stuff as per dozen. Oh, how much do bowling balls weigh? About 200 pounds a dozen, right? Or how much do eggs weigh? I don't know, about, you know, 40 ounces a dozen. So it would be the case where we constantly did it divided by a dozen. When it comes to the, um, the mass of these atoms on the periodic table, it's always in grams per this number per mole. So that's what a mole is. I think if you consider it similar to a dozen, you'll be less confused. It's just a fixed amount. Why is it such a random, trippy number? You know, I think it's to make you probably a little more confused. That's one of the perks. But besides that, again, it's because they're so small. It would be terrible to measure them in dozens because there's, it'd be like, how many dozens are of uh, nitrogen atoms are there in, in this little sample? It'd be like infinity. So they just use this bigger number, which, you know, is kind of a cooler way to do it. And that's it. That's what a mole is. In later videos, we'll actually do some work with moles, but that's kind of the definition and the way you should view uh, a mole. Remember, if you're struggling in chemistry at your local high school, you can take it online <laughs> at Silicon Valley High School, and the credits will be transferred back to your school.